Hello everyone, and welcome back to the SCP Library. Today we're going to be taking a look at Dr. Gear's proposal, which is the second proposal for SCP-001, more commonly known as the Prototype. Now, just want to let you guys know that this is my personal favorite proposal for SCP-001, so I hope you guys end up enjoying this one as much as I did. Item Designation Number 86243AR-001 Warning. Item displays aggressive and dangerous behavior. Description of item. 6 foot 5 inches tall, 97 pounds, average, varies by 5 to 10 pounds, higher or lower. Unknown age, gray brown skin, baby bruising, eye color milky blue, no hair. Emaciated appearance, bone and muscle structure unlike any recorded species. Legs are long and thin, ending in sharp black points. Three fingers on, on each hand, also ending in black points. Legs and arms are twice as long as torso. No reproductive organs, anal orifice, ears, nose, or pores anywhere on body. Head is spherical, very large in proportion to body. Neck appears too thin to support head. Mouth extends halfway around head. No lips. 21 teeth, based randomly around mouth. Many appear broken, rotten, or chipped. Quote unquote, I is a large ball-shaped milky blue sphere, presumably kept in the head or throat appears to roll into the mouth when mouth is open, has no pupil or iris. Detail of current containment. Room is lead lined and kept lit with floodlights. Temperature is kept at 98 degrees with 100% humidity. Room is sealed with a reinforced steel blast door. Outer area patrolled by guards with high powered strobes. Anyone entered the containment room should carry a strobe and wear welding goggles. Any person attempting to remove the item or enter without authorization is to be shot on sight. Report Recovered in Guatemala early this week, first reported to be a quote-unquote demon seen by several boys on a rural road, appeared to be sick or injured. Boys reported seeing the creature panting and jerking its legs. The creature then raised its head and exposed its eye. Boys ran home, reporting to local law enforcement. Several reports of horrible roaring or shrieks from locals over several days. Twelve people admitted to local hospital with severe radiation poisoning, and seven reported missing. Recovery team assembled, headed by General Machoy and dispatched from base ADRX-19. Reports to overseers from recovery team after standard containment failure led to additional containment protocols developed by Dr. Herman Keeter. Dr. Keeter was unfortunately killed in initial testing, after which creature was moved to ADRX-19. Creature appears to be able to create micro-singularities, using them both as a form of teleportation and defense. These singularities disappear several seconds after creation but emit massive amounts of radiation and cause severe damage to the surrounding area. Quote unquote eye appears to control these manifestations as it has always had the eye exposed when creating a singularity. Omnivorous, it views humans as a food supply. The creature shows signs of extreme fear and sickness in the presence of high heat, humidity, or bright flashing light. The creature appears unable to teleport through lead and cannot form singularities when it's in its sick state. When well, it is an extremely fast and cunning being, and has killed several recovery agents with both singularities and claws. It emits occasional shrieking sounds. All attempts to communicate have failed. Addendum Additional objects reported. Overseers considering conversion of ADRX-19 to dedicated recovery and containment facility. Reports may need censorship for reasons of security. <laughs>